Can you imagine that everything we're witnessing now was set in motion seven years ago? And here we are in 2024, on the brink of it all coming to pass. It's almost impossible to grasp, but Father Jim Blunt has just revealed something astonishing about America. He spoke of events that were carefully orchestrated years before, pieces falling into place in ways we could never have predicted or even imagined. He said that all of this every outcome, every twist was already planned long ago, and what's even more unsettling is that the result, the outcome, is already determined. We are standing on the edge of a revelation so shocking that when it happens, no one will be able to fully comprehend it at first. The winner, the one who will rise to power, will be someone we never expected, and the way it unfolds will leave people speechless. But that's not all. Father Blunt emphasized that what's coming is not just political. It's much deeper, much more spiritual. God is about to intervene in a way that will shake America to its core and all Catholics living here will be affected. He warned that the changes will be so profound, so far-reaching, that they will force every person of faith to reevaluate their beliefs, their actions, and their role in what's about to unfold. It's as if we've been blind, moving through our days unaware that we were heading toward this very moment. Now, everything is set to be revealed. What's coming for America and for Catholics in particular is something that will transform the nation not just in the political sense but in the way people understand their faith, their country, and their place in a world that feels like it's teetering on the edge of something monumental. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. Seven years ago, something extraordinary began to unfold in heaven. God, in his infinite wisdom, had set a plan in motion a plan that no one on earth could have foreseen. It was a plan for America, a country standing at the crossroads of history. While life went on as usual, with people going about their daily routines, God's gaze was already fixed on the year 2024. He knew that November of that year would be unlike any other, for it was then that he would reveal his divine plan in the most powerful way imaginable. As the years pass, whispers of change will echo through the hearts of a few chosen souls. Some will sense that something is coming, a great shift on the horizon. But even those who have an inkling of what is about to happen will never predict the full scope of what God has prepared. The day that will have been marked in heaven for seven long years will now approach, and nothing will ever be the same. It will be a chilly November morning in 2024, the air crisp and still as if the earth itself is holding its breath. The streets of America will bustle with activity people hurrying to work, children off to school, and the media buzzing with news about the upcoming election. One of the most closely watched figures in the country will be a well-known candidate running for the White House, a person whose name will be on the lips of millions. But this day, unknown to them, will be destined to go down in history for reasons far beyond politics. As the morning will pass, a strange calm will fall over the land. The skies, once clear, will begin to shift. Clouds will gather, not in a threatening way, but as if they are being pulled together by an invisible hand. People will begin to notice the unusual weather, looking up in curiosity, and wondering what is happening. Then, something remarkable will occur. Amid the gray clouds, a golden light will break through, brighter and more radiant than the sun. It will be a light that seems to touch the hearts of everyone who sees it, filling them with awe they will have never felt before. The light will grow stronger, and soon, it will become clear that this is no ordinary day. Across the nation, televisions, radios, and phones will all seem to turn their attention to the skies as the light descends, brighter and more glorious with each passing moment. The whole country will seem to pause as a feeling of something divine sweeps over the land. Then, in a way no one will be able to explain, the voice of God will fill the air not booming or harsh, but gentle and loving yet powerful enough to be heard in every corner of America. America, the voice will say, I have watched over you for many years. Today, the plan I set in motion seven years ago is about to be fulfilled. I come not in judgment, but in love, to call a few of my children home. The people will be stunned. They won't believe what they are hearing. 
God himself will come to America, and he will come with a purpose. The golden light will begin to focus on five individuals, each one marked by God's hand for a special journey. Among them will be ordinary people one a farmer from the Midwest, another a single mother from California, a schoolteacher from Texas, and a doctor from New York. These will be people who have lived their lives in quiet faith, trusting in God even in their darkest moments. But the fifth person will be someone the world will know well someone who will have been campaigning tirelessly for the White House, hoping to lead the country through the next chapter of its history. This famous candidate will have stood in front of countless crowds, made endless speeches, and promised change for America. Yet, on this day, their destiny will not be to lead the country, but to be taken up to heaven, chosen by God himself. As the light envelopes these five souls, the world will watch in amazement. There will be no tears, no fear, only peace and a sense of fulfillment. The people will lift their eyes toward the sky, where the golden light will shimmer, and in that moment, something incredible will happen. The five chosen ones will begin to rise, their bodies lifted from the earth by the hand of God, ascending toward the light. The skies will seem to open up, and a vision of heaven will appear bright, beautiful, and full of joy. The sounds of heavenly music will fill the air, and a feeling of pure love will wash over the nation. The famous candidate, once destined to lead the country, will now be destined for something far greater. As they rise toward heaven, their face will shine with the realization that they have been chosen for a higher purpose. They will leave behind the world of politics, fame, and power, entering into the eternal presence of God. The crowd below, once their supporters and followers, will watch in silence, understanding that this will be no ordinary event. God will have called them home. The day will be unlike any other in American history. It won't be about elections, or who will be the next president, or even the future of the country in a political sense. It will be about something much more profound. God will come to America, and in doing so, he will remind the people that his plans are far greater than anyone could have imagined. The five souls who will be taken to heaven will be a symbol of hope, a reminder that no matter what happens on earth, there is a higher power at work, guiding and loving his people. As the golden light will fade and the skies return to their normal state, the people of America will stand in awe. They will have witnessed a miracle, one that will forever change their lives. The nation will have been touched by the hand of God, and in that moment, they will understand that their country is part of a much larger plan, one that will have been written in heaven long ago. For the rest of their lives, the people will remember that day the day when God will have appeared in America, called his children home, and reminded the world that his love and power will transcend all earthly things. And though they will have lost a leader on earth, they will have gained a reminder of the eternal truth. God's plans will always be greater, and his love will be forever. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us his graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.